that he don't love me anymore and I'll have to let him go. You say you're gonna take him how but I don't think you can cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Women like you never dime a dozen you can buy us anyway. For you to get Well, I don't know where that leaves you, uh -huh, but I know where I stand. And you ain't woman enough to take my man. Women like you, the dime a dozen, you can buy on the well. For you to get to him, I have to move over, but I'm gonna stand right here. Did you do a song with Owen, Loretta? Now oh, can heard? I do a song with Owen? <laughs> <laughs> well, we hadn't played, played a long time. We ain't time. played in a long, long time, but uh, oh, no, we're no, game. No excuses now. There, we, we're game for anything. <laughs> you want to do the old shell soon? Yeah, let's do that one that me and you uh, uh, flittered around with for so long, uh, right in the middle of our session. All right. And we, we recorded it called Here I Am Again. Let me down again 
There's nothing cold as 
What a fool I was to think I could get by. Time for Loretta Lynn and Friends. Tonight, Loretta's here making new memories with her old and new friends. Hi, buddy, I'm Ben Spiel. And I'm Tanya Tucker. We're right now singing the title song from her very first gold album, Don't Come Home with Drinking with Love and On Your Mind. The other woman in Mooney's life, besides me, my friend, Loretta Lynn. Everybody else, because you're the best. Oh, you're sweet. Now, Tanya's getting ready to sing. How long have you guys known each other? Me and Tanya's known each other don't a long dare. time. Uh, what? Don't you dare. <laughs> she says, don't you dare. <laughs> I won't tell, honey. Long enough to know we better get her singing right now. Would you please make welcome my friend, Tanya Tucker. This is one of my favorite Loretta Lynn songs. Me and my girlfriend, Jackie Smith, used to go home from school every day on the bus singing this song. Love you know for a while. 
Ricky, darling. Hey there, Vince. Hey there. Well, I know there was another man in Loretta's life besides Mooney. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Uh-huh. Well, of course. Well, Ben, don't look at me. You're always giving me trouble about Mooney, you know. Well, well you just we stay away from my man. <laughs> See this arm here? I'm going to break this other one tomorrow. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, girlfriend. We have the evidence on tape. So, Loretta, watch this. No kidding. I think maybe I would like to do a movie. Yeah. Do you have any? Well, Greg, you pack wherever you are. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Diane. Yes. Yeah. All right. Will you put Mr. Peck on, <laughs> Pete? Are you ready for a call? This is for you, honey. For me? Hmm? I thought you were Hello. the one having fun. Mr. Peck? Yes. Will you hold a plow, please? Mr. Peck's on the line. I, Go ahead. I know, honey, but, but hold on one second. Loretta, it's for you. That's a bunch of bull. Loretta? Is this Cracker Peck? Is this Loretta? Yeah, that's me. Hello, are you? darling. How are you? I'm fine. Is this really you? Sure. Sure. I haven't seen you for a while. Every time, it seems like every time I talk to you, your birthday's coming on. The last time was about four years ago, wasn't it? Um... <laughs> It's me, all right. Is it really? Loretta, talk yeah. to me. Talk well, to I don't me. know what to say right now. <laughs> we, we're going we're gonna to get together again one of these days, I hope, if you ever stand still long enough. How about that? Well, um, what about tomorrow? <laughs> getting a call, but I don't remember saying that, but we'll be right back at, I don't know what to say, but we'll be right back. You got to know me. No. Coming right up, Vince Gill and Loretta Lynn with music and memories of... I'm back here with my friends Tanya Tucker and Vince Gill. Vince, you had a beautiful Christmas album out, and uh, your daughter sang with you on this album. What was that like? It's really kind of one of the, my greatest thrills of all was um, when we did it, um, we recorded the song and, and I didn't have the orchestra on there after her voice was on there. And then the orchestra, we put the orchestra on there and it came in It was and, and her voice, her little voice came in with that big orchestra and I just fell on the floor and just totally lost it. It was really one of my um, most cherished memories was that. and. Um, the night that uh, they reopened the Ryman Auditorium this year and yes. had the opportunity to, to have the first night of music in there yes. again to sing with her oh, in there. Yeah, we sang great. a duet song. Oh, great. Well, She's my know, buddy. You know, uh, I've uh, recorded uh, my three uh, religious albums with my son, Ernest, and I wrote the songs, and uh, me was just a little thing, about eight when we started. So that was the way I felt, too. So, Tanya, you've got some little ones, honey. Well, yes, my what's, little bug What's the best part of being a mommy? Well, uh, everything. You know, the worst part is uh, having to be away from them at times. But, uh, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just great They're at the right age, you know, three and five, where we can really enjoy the holidays and uh, the time we spend together. And I'm hoping to take a little time off the road next year and spend a little more time with them. Girl, what were you, what were you like at their age? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was climbing to the top of my dad's um, uh, drilling rig, about five years old. So uh, I, was, I was getting in a lot of trouble most of the time yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and singing your songs. Vince, did your daughter ever talk to you about uh, becoming a singer? Oh, she, uh, her, one of my favorite stories about Jenny is she told me one day, she says, Dad, I either want to be a, an actress or work at Kroger's, which is a <laughs> grocery store. Where can she get, she I said, can get well, all the candy she wants no, to eat? I told her, I said, well, if you're an actress, there's a good chance you'll get to work at Kroger's. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Oh, mercy. She may get both of them. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, well, Tanya, you were so young when you started uh, performing. Um, how did that affect you? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, uh, long, lonely nights on the road. I mean, you know, it's just, um, um, it's not easy. It's not an easy lifestyle. And a lot of people have asked me um, if I would like my children to go into show business. And uh, my first instinctual qu answer would be no. no. <laughs> That's right. That's a video. Nobody could stop me either. So uh, if right. they really want to do it, and I'm certain that I'm, I love them so much, I'll support them in whatever choices they want to make. 
but uh, I sure hope they get to be an entertainment lawyer or something like that. Keep me out of trouble. Well, do you think you've changed, Tanya? Oh, I think I change every day. Oh, I do. <laughs> do I you change think my you mind change every day, every day uh, Vince? No, I, I've loved Tanya <laughs> forever. I mean, she's the only artist I've known my whole life that's still younger than me. <laughs> But, uh, and she changes every day, doesn't she? I, I really admire her spunk and her spirit. You know, it's a lot like yours. It's That's what's so um, wonderful about it is the honesty. You know, you know right up front what you're, what you're dealing with. And I admire that. What you're that. getting into. <laughs> yeah, well, I admire that in people. Thank and you, And with you yes. and you both, you know, it's... I, I admire your eyelashes, I have to tell you. <laughs> the clip-ons. Hey, you know, there you go. Man. Well, Tanya, would you do a song for us, honey? Well, I'd be glad to. Well, you go get ready and I'll introduce you. I'll do it. Okay. Do you. Mm -hmm. Tanya Tucker, friends. Loretta, this could be our theme song. Coming up, Loretta visits with her friend, Naomi Jeff. We have another surprise for you. Not another surprise. Yes. I can't take one, two in one day. Yes, you can. Okay. There's a friend of yours calling from California. Not Loretta, coming. girlfriend, this is Naomi Judd, and I need some advice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You need some advice. I need some advice. Well, uh, how you doing out there? Since I'm producing. doing good. It's, uh, it's pretty strange out here in Hollywood, you know? Uh, <laughs> NBC's making a mini-series on my life story. Yes, I know, and you're you're producing too, ain't you? you went... I, I am, and I need you to to give me some pointers on on uh, what you did when you they did Coal Miner's Daughter on you. Well, I'll tell you what. Just stay where right with them, and don't make sure that they don't put anything in there you don't want. Well, I've got my bedroll out here. I'm I'm bird dogging them pretty good. Well, good. I'm glad you are. 
How's uh, how you doing? Well, we're doing real good. We've been at it about a week now, and uh, it's going to be a four-hour mini-series, so I'm going to be out here for several months um, just really working hard on making it as authentic, you know, as we possibly can. Yes. But how did you feel about um, the way that they portrayed your family in Coal Miner's Daughter? Well, I thought it was great, Naomi, because uh, I wouldn't sign the contract for the movie till they um, wrote the script the way that it was supposed to be. And uh, it was as close to my life as they could get it, you know. So I liked it. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you remember the night that you and I first met, you and me and Winona? I sure do, honey. In Vegas. That was at the Aladdin Hotel yes. about 1979. Bless your heart, you come out and spent two weeks watching my shows, Dinians. Winona and I watched every move you made, listened hard to every note you sang, for that whole time you were there That's at the Aladdin it. Hotel. We were nobodies, nobody knew or cared who the heck we were. And we just sat there and drank it all up. And uh, finally, your closing night, somebody in your band, I guess, felt sorry for us, and they took us back to your dressing room to meet you. Yes, I remember. And you were so dear and so sweet to us. And you said to us the weirdest thing. You said, you're not going to believe this, girls, but they are going to do a movie on my life, and I just met this girl named Sissy Spacek. And she can sing like me. And Winona had a connection because she thinks you're the berries. And she said, Loretta, you're the bee's knees. Nobody can come even close to you. What are you talking about? I remember her saying that. And I, I was trying to tell her, yeah, she can say words just like me. <laughs> and then, of course, Sissy went on to win the Oscar. Yes, she for did. For Best Actress. And she actually did do it. Yes. And Beverly D'Angelo played Patsy Cline. And she sang just like Patsy, I thought. Yeah, I did too, honey. Well, I'm so proud that you have uh, called us, and... Um, well, I wish I could be there in person, but I'm sitting here uh, without any makeup on, my clothes don't match, and I'm... Uh, <laughs> they never did. <laughs> that was Vince Gill, Naomi. He says they never did. <laughs> Well, well, honey, I'm, I don't wear funny clothes like you do on the golf course, Ben. Oh, 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 oh. I got you, Ben. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm I'm writing a special song for you for Chris for a Christmas show. You oh my goodness! Yeah, you know what it's called? What? Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should know pretty good about that category. <laughs> what, honey? How many How many times have you been a grandma? Well, too many. <laughs> I think 12 times. Well, I love you, Loretta. I think you're the, I think you're the original deal. And I love you for calling me. Now we're going to take some questions from the audience, okay? Hi, my name is Meg, and I have a question for all of you. Do you ever make the same mistake twice? Make the what? Same mistake once? Oh. <laughs> 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 Great, you take it. <laughs> you don't go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> oh. No, you go ahead. Now. What is everybody looking at me for? Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, I did. Um, hi, I'm, my name's Carrie, and my question's for Vince. I was wondering, you seem like so easygoing whenever we see you. Do you ever just blow your temper? Uh, I'm getting pretty close right now. <laughs> Another question like that, and I'm over the edge. <laughs> That's great. Hi, I'm Marianne Miller. My question is for Loretta. Yes. Did you ever date anybody before Lo Mooney? No. You didn't? No. Didn't have time. She did after you married Mooney. Oh, yeah, after I married him. <laughs> He's sitting over here. Well, you better be careful. Next Hi, question. my name is Mike. Uh, my question is for Tanya. I just wanted to see if uh, Loretta gave you advice, too. Well, did you ever give me advice? Oh, yeah, she a little bit. She slapped me around a couple of times. <laughs> well, she's always... Uh, uh, I've always protected Giving me you. sisterly, loving advice, and, and um, she's always been my hero, so just about anything she does is right by me, and, and, uh, and uh, I hope Same that here. I can just be half the woman that she is. Just a quarter of the You know, I've been singing your songs all my life, Loretta. 
Well, why don't we why don't we sing one together? You think? Yeah, let's go get ready. Come on. Let's go. I was just thinking the same thing. I wish I could be half the woman Loretta is. <laughs> May not happen. <laughs> now here to sing one of the great classics of Loretta Lynn. Please make welcome Loretta Lynn and Tanya Tucker. Surprises with Loretta and her friends Vince Gill and Tanya Tucker. This is a special year for country music. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the debut of a song that's become a country classic, Coal Miner's Daughter. First, it was a number one hit, then it was a best selling book, and then it became an Oscar winning movie. Now it's Loretta's country anthem, and here to sing The Coal Miner's Daughter, Miss Loretta Lynn. Thank you. for being with us today and take my advice okay okay darling all right honey and vince i want to thank you sweetheart have you got any advice for me uh none you could use oh <laughs> well thank you tanya and thank you vince mm -hmm. and thank you all for being with us today and please come back and see us next week okay
gonna be another sleepless night I've been listening to your dreams and getting very low Wondering what I can do Maybe I'm being foolish Cause I haven't heard you mention it about this name at all I wish you could be sure it's me that turned you on I've heard it said that dreamers never lie You've been talking in your sleep Sleep in your dreams Or some sweet lover Holding on Maybe I'm being foolish Cause I haven't heard you mention it But it's name How she could be sure it's me that Turned you out Each time I close your eyes I've heard it said Do you know where we're at? We're sitting right here in front of our old home place, back in Butcher Holler. It's a beautiful place, too. Yes. That's where I'd like to go just spend a few nights and listen to the mocking birds when I go to sleep. That's the one thing I miss most in Butcher Holler, is listening the to the mocking birds. Mommy used to sing around the house uh, when I was a little girl. I remember that. Did she ever sing around the house to you? Oh, she sang all the time, you know, and also she'd pick the banjo and she'd sing Pretty Polly. Oh, yeah. Pretty Polly. <laughs> she took good. Mommy said that you used to sing around the house all the time when you was little, and, but I remember some of this, Crystal Gill. You uh -oh. used to sing this. Put the bottle on the table and let it stay there until I'm able. <laughs> You know who, yeah, you know who requested that all the time? Me. Mooney. <laughs> oh, did he? Well, well, no, well, I, wonder how, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to sing, sing that yeah, song for him all the time. But you could sing it. She sung like a bird when she was little. Did Ma you sing to your kids when you were little? Uh, yes, I, I sang to I mean, Catherine. when they were little. Well, <laughs> I was little, too, you know. No, I yeah, you were little, really. too. <laughs> Catherine, she'd cry when I'd sing, you know, when she was a baby. Well, I did when Mommy would sing, too. I but cried. Chris loved it. I mean, he didn't, you know, so... <laughs> he saw him or he wouldn't care. You know, but, you know, singing is... 
it's just so wonderful and and to have it around the house all the time like mom did and yeah you just have to yeah do it. daddy daddy done the same thing that's your nice thing one honey. i'd love it okay put it up until tomorrow you love me, you love today. Thank you you said our love is over. That you have found another. You said. Isn't far away. Put it off until tomorrow. Whoa, whoa. You hurt me enough today. Put it off until tomorrow. Whoa, whoa. You hurt.
you all know uh, Sissy, that's my daughter, and Crystal Gale, my oldest sister. <laughs> There's a beautiful song called The Wings of a Snow White Dove. And let's try to do this, okay? On the wings of a snow He doesn't forget us He sends down his love On the wings of a dove On the wings of the snow Ways. Troubles he had some, But he wasn't forgotten He sent down his love On the wings of a dove On, On the wings of the snow Clap, but I can do this. <laughs> hey, what? I just realized something. Somebody just thought of. What? I'm the only one sitting here that's never been female vocalist of the year. <laughs> that's right. Do you know that we're sitting here with a man in love? <laughs> that reminds me. That reminds yeah. Me. Does that remind you you're in love? Yeah, because, you know. Oh, when did you know you were in love? Tell me about that. Well, I think. I don't know. I don't remember the birds chirping or nothing. But you don't, you don't but remember was, the well, birds anyway, in it? Well, it, it was just some, you know, it was that special feeling, y'all know. But that's what I'm, I want to ask y'all some questions about it. Because well, I'm thinking about getting married, maybe. Well, uh, <laughs> so. That's great. That's a big So good, good advice. All right. Uh, uh, give me some advice on marriage. Right. Well, if you get married, don't look back. <laughs> okay. That's all I can tell you. Keep just, going. Just keep going straight ahead. Yeah, and, and never look back. Don't look back. Crystal. We have to overlook a lot of things, too. You gotta I bend know. with the wind and ride with the tide. You give and take, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, I, now I got another question for y'all. This is, this is important, because sometimes I'm sure this is gonna happen. We're gonna have some kind of an argument or something. Now, should you, should you, should you just go off and, and get mad and get in your separate corners, or should you make up before you go to bed? What do you think? Well, I tell you, I've done both. I have made up before I went to bed, and there's been times I've been so mad I wouldn't have made up with nothing. That's right. 
<laughs> How about you, Crystal? Yes, definitely. You now, know. what's your recipe for a uh, good marriage, honey? Well, you know, um, Bill and I, we've been married for 23 years. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, there's been ups and downs along the way. And, and of course, it, we've gone to bed, man. He doesn't like to. That bothers him. And maybe that's what we do. <laughs> that's that little jab, you know. <laughs> there is a song of yours, and it's one of my favorites that I'd love to hear you sing called you got to stand for something or you'd yeah. fall for anything. I'd love to do it, Loretta. Okay, baby, do it for All us. All right. Aaron Tippin, friends. Let's make him welcome. Hi. I'm back here with my two babies, my daughter, Sissy, and my sister, Crystal Gale. And, um... You're the coal miner's daughter, too, and she's a yeah. coal miner's daughter-daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you're doing a, um, you're going on the road, sissy. You always worried about me when I'd take off and go on the road. Now you're doing it, and it used to tear the heart out of me and when I'd have to leave. And you kids didn't understand that at all, and I knew you didn't. But how does it feel now that you have your bus and you're on the road? It still tears the heart out of me to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> but how, do, how does it feel to leave your two babies? It's hard, but I think it was harder for you because there were six of us. You couldn't take us. And mine, I can take sometimes where you couldn't. But I, the leaving home's the hardest part. Well, how do you plan to handle that and be on the road, too? Same way you did. Oh, gee, I pray. <laughs> <laughs> you just do. I mean, you, you know, you just do. And I, my kids understand. And um, But... I hated it when you did it. I know. I hated it. I did too, honey. I was there with her, you know. I know. Because I'd come down and, and us being close in age and um, we just, we played. And I could tell, you know, they, they wanted you home. Well, and that's hard. When you would go with mom in the summer, mama would let me go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we had a great time. We did, so we oh, you all did. <laughs> <laughs> she did. i tell you what. Since Sissy uh, just started and got her bus and her band, why don't we let her sing? It's a song called A Letter. It's about a letter. And I'm going to let you tell the story, okay, honey? All right. Go on, sing it. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen you And I sure do miss you and Daddy You know, when I was little I'd see you get up on that big old bus And I always wanted to be up there with you, Mama But now I've got my own bus And I want to share something with you Mama, I want to be And mama, I know it don't come easy And I'll do you proud by me someday Oh 
with my sister today and there are a lot of wonderful memories a special one is being at my sister's shows when I was growing up and hearing all her fans yell out for their favorite songs and she's gonna sing a song that uh, was one of the most requested called secret love thank you I'm so happy you could all be with us tonight we want to thank you Crystal Gale I love you honey thank you Ern. And Tissy, belongs to me. Thank you, honey. And thank you for being with us here. And please come back next week, same time, same station. Until then, let your love flow. you deep inside and send you realer where you look and hide and then go steal her through the moonlit nights with your lover just let your love flow like a mountain stream and let your love flow with the smallest of dreams and let your love show and you'll know what I mean it's the reason just let your love There's a reason for the warm, sweet nights, and there's a reason for the candle lights. Must be the season when those love lights shine all around us. So let that wonder take you into space and lay you under. It's love and embrace to still the thunder. As it warms your face, you can't hold back. Like a mountain stream and let your love go With the smallest of dreams and let your love show And you'll know what I mean, it's the season Just let your love fly Like the bird on a wing and let your love fly You do all of the things and let your love shine And you'll know what I mean, that's the reason Like a mountain stream, let your love flow. With 
Your class ring that means you can, and it still looks the same as when you gave it, dear. The only thing in front, the only thing I've got these little things. She's got.
joined us and I call him Do and everybody else is Mooney and um, you all know he's my husband and we want, <laughs> we wanted him on this show and believe it or not I said do little what show do you want to be on and he said with Faith Hill <laughs> did you really make me yeah. chop liver <laughs> No, I let him. Yeah, you all fight. No, I'll just yeah, lay I'll back fight. here. Dude's, dude, you're used to fighting, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> are you happy now? You're surrounded by women. You bet. Tickle to death. You look like you, yeah. what you happy. Go, what, what, oh, hey, yeah. Would you tell me something? What was you going to wear today when I asked you what you wanted to dress in? Well, they've been on to me all week about it, and they wanted to put a tux on me, and I said, I ain't oh, wearing no damn tux. Said, Honey, <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, they said, uh, I said, I'm not wearing no tux. And they kept on. I said, I'm not wearing nothing. So then the other day they come over that. and I, I finally said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to compromise with you. I'm going to wear some saran wrap. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a picture I would like to see. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I, yes. I think I'd like to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think you look very nice. Thank you. Very handsome. Thank I'm you. glad you're here. Thank you. Yes. I'm glad I'm here, too. <laughs> uh, I, I know you've been, uh, you're not married, and you're no. wishing for a good relationship. What kind of a guy would you like? <laughs> What in saran wrap? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I had to say that. No, I well, do. You what know, kind I, of a guy do you think Faith should have? Yeah, what kind of man do you think? I think I should have a good old boy. I actually do have a good old boy. I'm just not married. Who do you think she should go out with? What kind of a guy? A uh, good, good looking. Like you? Certainly. <laughs> well, you know, I have to ask b both of y'all something. See, you've been married to the same man for, I mean, the, long the only time. one, a long time. 132 long time. months, or years. <laughs> 32 years? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, what kind of advice would you give entertainers, you know, young, 
entertainers that aren't or entertainers that aren't married you know they're trying to have both a career and a family because I I definitely want that I mean and to, to been married to the same man and the only man <laughs> is pretty incredible and especially this day and time you know it's really yeah tough. well you get as Loretta says you've got to find somebody that either loves what you do as much as you do or either will allow you to do it and yes. help and exactly. help you to do it so that's that's about the only thing really that you can say and you, you know that. you've got to find just a good a good person to start with and and somebody you can talk to a, a good friend like you all started out to be and you that's they grew up that's together the most important you know? is, is a, a great friend yeah you gotta, Best say, friend. You gotta keep one thing there's one word to take care of it all love that's right. And you know what, Mooney? Yes, that's your right. And I have known I have known Mooney and Loretta for so long, and they never change. They're the same all the time. And you've been through so many trials and tribulations, and I just want to know what keeps the love alive for you all. Yeah, what do y'all do? What kind of secret? I'm not going to tell. <laughs> I'll tell you, a lot of times there is, you know, with, with all the kids that we have and everything and all the grandkids, there is a lot of problems. And when they get into problems, well, naturally, it's going to tear the heart out of me. But he uh, hangs in there and uh, jumps on me if I cry. Little, You know, he gets upset if I cry. But, you know, if you've got kids in trouble, you're going to cry. Well, sure, but he, he's kind of like my husband. He's your anchor. He kind of gets, he, well, yeah. he cries, too, And I think, when he's, yeah. when when he's asleep. by himself. When yeah. I'm asleep. That's true. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been married? My, I'll, I will celebrate 32 years in April wow. of 95. Yeah. I'm kind of like, uh, I'm kind of like uh, Mooney and Loretta. We married very young, and we kind of grew up together. So we're best friends, and um, uh, he's my best friend. That's so all I, I can say. It's for those people out there, those people who aren't married and who are looking for that special person, I mean, I have a really wonderful special person in my life that is my best friend. I think that. Um, in this day and age where there's so many divorces going around that it, it there is somebody out there for you and it, you can still stay and you married. can make it work and you can make it work yes you can well i'll tell you you have to bend with the wind i mean it's <laughs> really hard but yeah. you've got to it, I, i've already think... been through one yeah. <laughs> i'm only 27 years old two, two right my mama's street. heart that's right it's a two-way street that's right uh, honey i'm going to sing a song for you okay Okay, before you do that, I, I got one thing I'd like to say. Well, you better say it. Well, you know, I, the hospital deal and everything went through that deal. And the reason that I'm sitting here right now is because I had thousands and thousands and thousands of people praying for me. And I know that's how I made it. You and sure I did. Thank everybody. Yes, you sure did. This is true. And the ones that wasn't praying, I can call them up and tell them to. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for him. We're, we're, we're in trouble. But I'm going to do this song for you, baby. Oh, well, thank you.